Choices, episode three, take one. Martoni and you watching Choices, where it is our mission to make Massachusetts the healthiest place to live in the country. One Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Martoni, and we are back here at Choices speaking to Richard. And Richard, thank you so much for taking the time out to tell your story. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Richard, a couple years back, like all, like many Americans, went out and got himself a flu shot and had a very different experience. Because ultimately, when we think about the flu season or we think about going into the winter time, typically what most Americans think about is you know, getting your flu vaccine. Well, you know, Richard, you had a, a very different reaction that day. And yeah. could you uh, tell us a little bit about that? You know, and, and what ended up happening? Uh, yeah, it was in um, October of uh, 2010. And uh, I got a flu shot, as I had in the past two or three times, and uh, without really thinking about it. As you said, it's flu time, get your flu shot. Um, that night, I had uh, fever and chills, and I, I just didn't feel good. And in the following days, uh, it continued, I just didn't feel good. I noticed that if I sat down for a period of time and I got up, my legs felt very good. Um, nine days later, uh, at the end of the day, I felt terrible and uh, my spine was really hurting and uh, by that night uh, I just started going down from the waist down and was rushed into the hospital and, uh, and diagnosed after uh, a series of tests with transverse myelitis uh, based from the flu shot. What is transverse myelitis? As explained to me, transverse myelitis is an autoimmune reaction to the vaccine where my body actually starts fighting against itself. In particular, the myelin is a sheathing on the spinal cord, and this is what was attacked um, as a result. And the myelin um, constricted to a point where it not only did damage to the spinal cord, it actually killed different sections of it. Um, as a result, again, of the uh, of the shot. You know, and that's what we're do trying to do here at Choices. We're trying to educate you as to not to make a decision or not, just to make an informed decision. And Richard, I know I asked you this question off air. Mm -hmm. What if, uh, if, if somebody would, would have said to you, you know, this, you know, don't get your flu shot because of this, what would have made you make that decision to not get the flu shot that day? Could somebody have said something to you differently? Well, that's a good question because, uh, you, know, you know, everything's in the fine print. When you, when you get the shot. Actually, hold on, let me explain. So, in the ingredients of the flu, there are, you know, I just looked this up on the CDC website, the marisol, which is mercury, right? Uh, aluminum salts, uh, there's egg protein, there's formaldehyde, and there's penicillin and sulfur drugs. So that's all in the shot to, right. stabilize, the, um, to stabilize the vaccine. So, I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, I, I, again, you, you realize, I think most people realize that there is some risk um, to getting the shot, but I don't believe anyone ever really thinks, you know, that, that could happen to me, or you don't know someone that it happened to. Um, it's different now. Had someone come up to me and, and explain, hey, listen, I know someone that this happened to, and uh, the reaction was so um, strong that they became paralyzed from the shot, I, I might have given you know, a lot more thought to whether to get the shot uh, or not to get the shot. Uh, but again, they, you know, you go in, I think the important thing for people is there is a percentage that's given out of people that may be affected or the odds of something happening and you go in and say, okay, but again, it can happen, it, it does happen and it did happen. And I, 
think that's what's important um, that, that people understand. And just to make an informed choice. You know, if you're going to get the flu shot, that's okay. Just go in with your eyes open that this can happen. Yeah, and you know, I think some of the statistics are important also. Because when, when you hear it, you hear 36,000 people died, you know, 2010 from the flu shot. Well, when you, when you look at those actual statistics, of those 36,000 that died, the, the uh, patients were 75 and older, and only 18 of them died from an actual reaction to the flu shot. Most of them were secondary infections. So if somebody dies in the hospital of pneumonia, they state that as a flu-related death. So they call this flu death. So it's very, very, very inflated. But of that same year, there were 82 known cases uh, that were in the federal courts for class action lawsuits, you know, from life-altering effects from the shot itself. I just bring this information up, and it's out there, it's, it's, it's on the CDC website, but I just bring the information up because people need to know. You know, you, you go into Walgreens, get your shot now, you go into, you know, I mean, everywhere you see, get your free flu shot. I see. And that, I mean, does that scare you now? I mean, what? I don't. I don't think it scares me. But um, I know that my, my family and everyone that knows me when they when they see that, uh, they think very differently of it. Um, that maybe people, you know, maybe you shouldn't go in and get that shot, or maybe you should think about it. Uh, and and again, that's why um, I think it is important to to get it out to let people know that. Um, if you're going to get the flu shot, just just go in knowing that there are risks you know, to getting it. Mm -hmm. No, so your family doesn't. If you have people around you that know, no, <laughs> no. Um, no and it's in, you know, a condition like this unfortunately doesn't just affect me. It affects my family, my wife, my children, my my uh, everyone that knows me, my friends, and uh, so it is a big event. And you know, I, I often ask people this question. I'm going to ask you the same question. Where do you think the flu goes during the summertime? <laughs> um, I, I tend to agree that it is, you know, the germs are always around. Um, I don't know how one would, you know, you can contract something or someone else doesn't. Uh, people, people get the flu shot and don't have a reaction to it. You know, some people don't get the flu shot and don't get the flu. Um, I think it, it probably is a lot to do with individuals and, and uh, you know, your body. The, the, the workings of that, and whether or not you're going to get it. Where do I think it goes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Richard, I, you know, do you want to say any one last thing to the, you know, the audience before you? Uh, Actually, just just what I said before that just uh, if you are going to get the flu shot, then go in with your eyes open, and uh, and realize that this can happen. Just uh, just be informed. Well, thank you so much for. Uh, for helping out and helping really help us spread the message of uh, you know of wellness and, and just informing people. I Thanks really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And when we come back, I'm going to give you the top five things you can do to help protect yourself this flu season. We'll be right back.